post-workout video. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm actually going to share a little bit of um, my personal trainer's um, dialogue that he was sharing during his, the workout we did today because I really loved um, some, the point he was making. And it was about, he was discussing a lot about form and mobility during today's workout. And um, what I love is it basically rewind and look at the saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. And there is a lot of functionality that our bodies just inherently have that um, due to lifestyles and culture, we just don't typically use them in their full capacities. And that is where we end up getting ourselves in um, an area where we are more susceptible to injuries and pain because we have not um, f fully used our bodies and kept them exercised in those areas. And um, I wrote a note to myself here. Where is it? Here we go. Oh, we set our own limitations. So um, like if we have a desk job and we do a lot of just sitting, that is putting our, our muscles and our, our whole body in a certain position for a lengthy periods of time. Um, it, there's numerous things that are getting neglected um, in our daily lives, which is why it's important to have a good functional workout, you know, at least three to four days a week um, to help keep our bodies working at their optimum levels so that we're not losing it and having a harder time the older we get with being able to get around and do the simplest things like wiping your ass on the toilet. Unless you do like having a younger person do that for you. I don't, I don't know. And there are reasons that even if you are super fit that those things can happen anyways, but there's ways that we can help prolong our quality of life. And as Amwala was sharing these things, I realized, wow, that really applies to all of life. Because I was uh, in a meeting with my visionary yesterday, and there's um, so many, um, it's not even thought processes, it's higher than a thought process. That things that I, are ways of living that I, I want to grow into and um, it's, it, it's, yeah, more than just a thought process. It's just the, a way of life that I want to be transcended to. And um, I'm my own barrier on that. I set limits on myself. And it's not like I'm sitting here, like, shooting down things, like, by, oh, by, with a PowerPoint with, like, bullets and stuff, like this and this and this and this. It's just it's how I've grown up. It's the way I, I've knowing things to be for life, the way I know things, you know, the um, way I was raised, um, how the public school systems teach us, um, environment, you know, all my experiences. And then all of a sudden in my 40s, I realized there's like way more to life than just the way that I've known it, like so many more ways. And the best way to learn that is to just get out there and get curious about meeting people that are different than you and actually getting to know them and where they're coming from, empathy, as well as getting curious and just asking questions like what's more, becoming a solution seeker. Um, I have grown up being um, a problem solver is more of the way I looked at it. Like let's look at the problem and let's identify all the things that are going on wrong with the problem and and size it up and um, the thing is is I'm pouring all this energy into what the problem is as opposed to what I actually want and um, say you're driving down the road and uh, a boulder falls onto the road but you want to get to the ice cream shop that's just past there well there's a boulder 
Well, if you just sit there and think, well, that boulder's really big and it took up the, all, most of the space on, on the road and the space left on the road is not is smaller than the size of my vehicle. I could walk, but that would take longer. And what would I do about my car? That's all focusing on the problem when I could be like, wow, look, there's all this space off the side of the road I could drive around. Or, oh, hey, I could back up and take a detour because there's another road that takes me there. Or maybe I do feel like taking a walk. I'm gonna be eating ice cream, you know, so I could burn the calories. Solution seeking as opposed to problem solving. I actually just literally had that problem solving to solution seeking epiphany right this minute. So I love working out. But, um, and another note I had written was, um, I have noticed this personally that um, I wrote more physical therapy, less medication. And what I mean by that is there are so many natural ways to solve problems. Um, and yet a lot of the times uh, there seems to be a pill that can be prescribed for the problem. And it, that just fixes like the symptoms. It doesn't actually cure the actual issues. Um, uh, a very good example, I had really bad knee pain. Turned out that um, I, couldn't, I wasn't even squatting quite right and I had um, weak hamstrings. Um, the whole kinetic chain was a bit jacked and when I went to physical therapy, she actually taught me how to get my body aligned. My daughter was having issues and the same physical therapist was able to hook her up and help her out with her issues. Um, I was taking amitriptyline for my bladder because I have interstitial cystitis, um, but I'm tired of taking medications, hmm, caveat, and it was the last medication that I was on, and um, I spoke with my urologist and I was like, I want to be off meds. I was like, is there a physical therapy that we can do to help me figure out how to naturally handle these issues that I'm having with my bladder? And, he, and I'm going to just say this right now, the urology department in Chippewa, Eau Claire area, is really amazing because I, I have not had them actually push meds on me ever and I would also have to say that Provea Health has not pushed meds on me ever either. I've, they sent me to a um, physical therapist for my bladder and I was a little hesitant. I didn't know exactly completely what I was going to be skidding when I met with Nadine but she blew me away and I was in love with her immediately because she was all about mindset and um, like taking control and she's been helping me out a lot. Hence, I'm like actually not having any like coffee for two weeks or, ca or cappuccino or anything and I'm surviving by the way. Um, and, oh, um, I was taking, oh here's a caveat, I was taking anti-anxiety medication, um, sertraline because uh, uh, I, I was actually starting to have panic attacks many years ago. Um, and I lived in a lot of, I was just very anxiety ridden, stress induced anxiety. And the stress was always financially, and, and like that still, I'll still feel that like rise up whenever I feel that finances are gonna be a problem. It's that true. Um, but like I was, when I was speaking with my visionary, like focusing on um, solutions, what do I actually want? What's possible? Um, what can we? Be, what can be done to help this out? Those are not only do they help you get away from the problem and into um, where you actually want to be and getting things taken care of, but it's a way more empowering of mindset and vibe to be in. And when you're in that, you're actually even able to see even more solutions that are available to you. You're more open to other. Uh, possibilities and um, you know, overall you're just not anxious and fucking worried so that is my post-workout video thing that I'm sharing today and I'm just gonna share a little bit of my trainer because I love Amwala he um, when if I actually get into actually training people personally um, he is the style that I totally dig having because I love people understanding um, why they're doing the things and how it helps them because 
for me, that puts a picture in my head so that I'm actually able to really see what I'm doing and be able to, to see what I'm working and feel how I'm working it to be sure that I'm doing the best that I can so that I'm getting stronger and better and faster and not hurting myself. And uh, yeah, group is starting December 20th. Group is starting private online. It's not on any of these social media platforms. Hit me up. Right. We live in an aid environment where we need to adapt. When we go through our bodies and we tell our bodies and limit our range of motion, we're limiting our ability to move. We're not optimizing our body the way that it was built to move. Our body, our fashion, our extensibility. How can Nikki bring her leg all the way over her head and someone else can't bring their leg over their head? You have the same ability just like Nikki and stop. The only difference is when will you use it and is it necessary to have that flexibility? I think it's necessary to have a general line of flexibility. And so I also think it's important to have the same flexibility and mobility in your spine. So if you don't have that, studies show that as well. If you don't have the mobility in your spine, then you're most likely gonna have back problems, back pains. So again, we have to debunk all of this stuff that we learn. I'm not saying science isn't great, but truth comes before science. Before we ever started measuring a squat, people were squatting here. It's until we started measuring the squat where we started saying, oh, well, this is bad for this and this is bad for that. Other cultures don't have those issues.